Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a special Friday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And what makes this Friday special is because it is Good Friday. And it is a day that is very, very important in the church. And for those of us who call ourselves followers of Jesus Christ, this is pretty huge. This is the day that uh, is is uh, known for Jesus going to the cross. And uh, today on Good Friday, I want to talk about the crucifixion and what that means for us. And I think the danger that we run into sometimes is the fact that we, we hear uh, these stories. Uh, if you're like me, I've grown up in church almost all of my life. And so we hear these stories and... Uh, they almost become cliche-ish to us. And I, I think that's a danger that we run into if we're not careful because we don't want, um, especially this story, we, we, we don't want the story of Jesus' crucifixion to become uh, almost a fairy tale. Um, we, we, we still want this to really penetrate our hearts and to really, uh, really touch our soul. And uh, the scripture I want to take you to today is uh, is actually a prophecy that was foretold of the crucifixion of Jesus. And it's in the book of Isaiah. And I'd like to read that for you. A lot of you hearing this will probably recognize this scripture. But whether you've heard it before or you've heard it hundreds of times, I want this to be really fresh to you here today on this Good Friday. Take a look at this scripture. It says, Surely he took up our pain and he bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities and the punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed and i am reminded on this day just how uh, incredible this sacrifice was it was brutal the 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 the, the Execution by crucifixion was a brutal way to die. You did not die because of blood loss, uh, but you you died because you literally suffocated on the cross. Um, it was a slow, painful death. There are accounts of when cr some criminals were crucified that they would actually hang on that cross for days. Now, Jesus, because of the sufferings that he went through, and we talked about that earlier this week, because of the sufferings that he went through, um, he hung on that cross for three hours. But the toll of my sin and your sin and the sins of the world were all thrust upon Jesus when he was on that cross. And I'm reminded today, and, and there's... Uh, there's passages of scripture all over the Bible to remind us that this punishment that he went through, the cross that he went through, that was for me. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The Bible says that it's by the stripes that he bore on his back that he is that that we that we are healed. All of this that Jesus did, all of this that Jesus went through, um, was in our place and for us because he loves us. And I want to remind you today to keep the cross fresh in your heart and in your mind. Don't take it for granted. Don't uh, don't just chalk it up as another Bible story like Noah's Ark. Or, and again, I'm not saying that those are bad stories, but but the significance of the cross. Don't, don't lose the significance of the cross. In fact, today, would you find yourself just thanking Jesus 
that he went to the cross for you. I think that'd be an appropriate response today on this Good Friday. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. Uh, We love you, and uh, we'll let you go for today. God bless you. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.